Hello everyone, my name is David here from Easy Photoscan, and today I'm going to show you how to properly install the Kodak Legal Flatbed software on your Windows environment and how to make sure that it's up and running properly before you begin scanning. So you will see here I'm at the Kodak Alaris website. I'm just going to show you really quick how to navigate through the website to get to the drivers and downloads section of where to find the Kodak Legal Flatbed software. And you will begin here at Information Management. The drop-down menu appears. We'll go ahead and select Scanners. Next, you will be taken to a document scanner type of page. You're going to see a couple things going on. At the top, you will notice where it says Products, Services, Support Center, and so on. Underneath Products, we're going to go ahead and select Picture Scanning. Now here at this Picture Scanning, page, you're going to see, again, a few more things going on. You'll have a contact, call us, and social hub section there on the right. And here on the left, you'll see it says Picture Saver Scanning System. Um, as you highlight your cursor over this area, a drop-down appears. It says Picture Saver Scanning System PS50 slash PS80. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now we're in the main product page here of the Picture Saver Scanning System for the 50 or the 80. Um, you will see where it says overview, specs, uh, review and awards, videos, support related products and how to buy. If we highlight over support, you will see a few more options right underneath. And the one that we're going to want to select is the second one on the left for drivers and downloads. When you do that, you're going to see here a couple more options going on for you. Um, the one that we are looking for is going to say the Kodak Legal Flatbed Accessory Drivers which is going to be the second one from the bottom. And we'll click on the detail link here to take us to another web page that's going to go over a couple more specs of the legal flatbed here that you'll see some of the dependencies, uh, what the legal flatbed is for. Um, just to give you a heads up, the legal flatbed is an accessory to the Kodak PS50 or PS80 meaning that without the PS50 or PS80 plugged in and turned on, the legal flatbed will not be recognized by the software. It's just one of those things we'd like to let everyone know. Keep a heads up. As we scroll down, you will see a couple of options available here for you, um, starting with the download the full version of the Windows installation software for the legal flatbed accessory. You'll see this first one is a 51 megabyte download. It is a zip file. And you will see right below that the installation or the install software .exe file, which you could also use. Now, you have the opportunity to choose one or the other. If you would like to simply install the software, get it up and running very quickly, you would go ahead and select this one here, the exe file. 37 megabyte file. If you would like to have a couple more options, such as a README file, um, a setup guide, user guide, you can go ahead and install the zip file. Please know when you install the zip file, before you begin to download anything, you will have to unzip that file. It is a pretty popular question in the community. Um, we have where people will download the zip file, they try to install right out of the zip file and forget that the process you need to go through is to unzip that file first. I have went ahead and already installed this exe file just to kind of get the process going. You will see here, I will bring this up for you. I have it here in my downloads window. Installation software underscore legal underscore v3.0. I'll go ahead and double click on that and appear down here. Bring this up. It says you want to allow changes. Yes, it's quite large. And let me show you what it's doing back here. I oh, can't select it. So, let's see if I can bring this up. Here we are. This is the uh, basic install process that you will go through. I'll go ahead and hit next on this welcome screen. This is the license agreement is the next one you will see here. It's got all of your fun details. Go ahead and hit I agree. 
And what you won't see going on is down here on my other screen, it's going ahead, it's doing its full install. This is the screen you will see when it is finished installing. It's gonna ask me to hit the finish button to exit the installation. I will go ahead and hit yes or finish. And that is it. There is no icon that you need to select um, showing that everything is installed. It is just running in your background on the computer. And before I get started here, I'm going to minimize. I have my software already up and running. Now, if I were to continue from this point without having my legal flatbed turned on, it will not work. Please make sure you have your Kodak legal flatbed and Kodak PS50 or PS80 turned on before you operate your Kodak software. So I'm going to exit out of here and make sure my scanner is turned on. Within a few moments, the light on my scanner is going to turn green. I have verified that my PS80 is also good. And I got a weird message in here. Get rid of this. And I'm going to go ahead and reopen the Kodak software, which I will see right over here. Now, there is one step, should you own a PS80, that you have to take before beginning. Um, for anyone who owns a Kodak PS50, you do not have to worry about this step. Um, but for anyone who has a PS80, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what you need to do in order to make sure that we have the setup just right in order for you to operate illegal flatbed. And you will see in this primary order screen down here at the right, and again, this is just for those who have the PS80. If you have a PS50, you are all set. You are good to go. You can begin scanning right away. For those, again, who have the PS80, you will have to go to this right-hand area where it says Setup. Run into your setup here, and it appeared down at the bottom. Bring this up for you. Here we are. You will see the very first thing that it says is the system configuration. And the very first checkbox is enable flatbed accessory. You will have to select this prior to begin scanning in order to make sure your flatbed is going to work. Once I hit OK, that setting saves permanently. I do not have to do this every time. I'm able to just open up the software and begin scanning right away. Again, PS50 users, you do not have to worry about this. You are all set and ready to go. And that is how you make sure that your legal flatbed is up and ready to go. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You can give us a call directly at 1-800-739-6919, extension 1 for Easy Photo Scan. We'll be more than happy to help you should you have any further questions. Again, my name was David. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we look forward to um, providing more series of videos and support. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much.